how do you guys build out songs more? So it starts with this idea. Is it then going to Sean and from there it just kind of catches fire? Is there a normal next step of like we have a, a guitar melody? Should we start with building out a drum line and then building up from there? Or like We'll do it part by part for sure. Okay. So we'll get like, I don't know, a riff or the chorus or whatever. And then we'll do that whole part. Usually. So we'll, I'll have the guitar, we'll record the guitar, we'll write fucking demo drums to that part, we'll write demo bass to that part, I'll try to write like a lead over that part or something. We'll do synth or, mm -hmm. ah, no, that we do that. That's the one thing we kind of leave for after, actually, unless we randomly think of something cool. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just go part by part, like, I'll just have, like, I'll know what key the song's in, and we just have the tempo of it, and then it's just literally me, like, getting drunk and, and fucking around with you know, just to the click or like looping, like looping the second, like let's say we have a chorus, right? We'll just loop the end of the chorus into clicks for a long time and then loop it back so I can think of something cool that could come after that that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are so spoiled or so fortunate to be able to do it all in-house and have Sean, like if you were going to oh, someone yeah, else's studio, not, that can never happen. I would have quit music already if that wasn't Is there, the case because uh, I can't, I don't want to fucking, uh, I can't deal with that. Like, there must be. I love being able to just change things. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you off. I love being able to just change things whenever we want. We do nothing. Mm -hmm. We make no compromises. And we just do it, and it sounds good. And at least, I don't know, I think it sounds good. But In the musical world, and I, I think maybe Billie Eilish is an example of this, yeah. of like someone who starts in house. There's a line where you have to go out, right? Like I mean, they still send, sh they do everything themselves, I'm pretty sure. But they like I don't think they mix it. Maybe I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Would you? Is I'm there sure they still send it out to some that? billionaire fucking mixer that's mixed like every, you know, Sean knows the people's names. I don't know the people's names. Neither, you know, yeah. Whoever mixes like top 40 songs and like, you know, big, big people. I'm sure that they're not just like, hey, mix this tonight in my bedroom. Put it out on the radio. It's going to get a billion streams tomorrow. Like, I'm sure, you know, they have their normal people that they send it to and. Is there a world where you'd be comfortable letting someone else mix and master? Like, is it the writing part that you would, like, be terrified to ever do in the studio? Or is it, like, the whole nine Oh, yards? I'm not terrified. I, I'm not terrified of anything. It's literally just a money thing. Okay. I, I mean, if if we... Well, if I wasn't confident in what we were doing, mm -hmm. like, I know Sean's good, and I know that I can hear things, and I know that we can... Everything we put out, at least... Like, in the beginning, when we first started doing it, like, I look back at, like, the, the our album mix, and I mm -hmm. look back at, like a couple older things from like a few years ago. And I'm like, this isn't bad. Like I remember putting stuff out and people finding out we did it ourselves and them being like, yo, this is like, I wouldn't have guessed that you did this yourself. This is really sick. Yeah. But now I look back because, you know, people don't, a normal person doesn't listen to a song and go, ah, uh, the, you know, uh, you know, there's too many, just too many high frequencies in the guitars. You know, mm -hmm. I don't like the snare. I don't, yeah. you know, the bass is too loud. I don't, I don't know. Or whatever. Most people don't listen to songs like that. Like, you just hear the song, and they just take it for what it is, and they're just like, cool. That's uh, me, yeah. Yeah. Uh, me, it's like, shit, I thought this was really sick, and then now we've done things in the past few years that are way sicker, and now, like, the the line is, like, if I have a song that comes, like, if, if a band I like puts out a song and I really like the mix, like, our mix has to be at least as good as that, like, Different, like all mixes are different. You don't want to sound exactly the same as someone else, but just like comparable in terms of like how loud it is, like how certain parts hit, like levels, like tones, you know, there's just so much that goes into it. Like I just want shit to be sick. So I feel like even like you're looking back, like I think three years ago, I think the album's like 2020, right? 20, it's like pandemic. Yeah, right? but we did most of it. Um, in, in 2019 too so it was like so i feel like even if you had gone yeah. out to a studio and get it done i feel like four years after that you would still look back and go ah oh, that mix was kind of stinky yeah i mean there's I things like that we've recorded like, with other people that yeah. i'm still like that too love everyone that we've recorded with but like just like i don't know time passes and you're like shit you just change your mind things grow yeah yeah and it's fine yeah. i don't think i don't think anything we've ever put out was straight up like bad it wouldn't have made it out yeah, yeah. no yeah. like i don't think anything like is unlistenable yeah 